Hey coding champions, welcome back to Hackcode. In this video, we dive into the world of lead code patterns and why you shouldn't waste your time solving every single problem. Real interviews are more than just lead code. They're also about development skills, understanding frameworks, and applying concepts in real world scenarios. So let's be smart with your preparation. I'll walk you through key patterns that cover most interview questions. And in upcoming videos, we'll dive deeper into each one of this with detailed explanation and code examples. Ready? Let's go. So first is sliding window pattern. This is perfect for problems that involves in subarrays or substrings. The idea is to have a window that slides across the array, keeping track of the best solution as you go. So instead of using a brute force to check every possible subarray, you adjust the window size dynamically. So which makes it more efficient. A great example is lead code 209, which I stated here is a minimum size subarray sum. So with sliding windows, you can solve it in a linear instead of quadratic time complexity. Up next is a two pointer pattern. This is excellent for problems involving sorted arrays or linked lists. The idea is simple. Use two pointers to traverse the array from opposite ends, adjusting their positions based on the logic of the problem. For instance, in lead code 11, the content with the most water, you maximize the area between two lines by using two pointers to find the optimal solution instead of checking every possible pair. Next is fast and slow pointer technique. This is often used to detect cycles in linked lists or arrays. The concept is straightforward. Move one pointer at a regular speed and other pointer at double speed. So if there is a cycle, the fast pointer will eventually lap the slow one. A classic example is lead code 141, linked list cycle detection, where this technique efficiently determines if a cycle exists. Next is binary search pattern. This is your go-to for problems where input is sorted. Instead of scanning the entire array, binary search divides the problem space in half repeatedly. So for example, lead code 162 find peak element. This uses binary search to find a peak in a mountain array in logarithmic time, making it far more efficient than a linear search. Next is merge interval pattern. So the merge interval pattern is essential for problems involving overlapping intervals. The idea is to first sort the intervals, then merge overlapping ones by adjusting their start and end points. This approach drastically signifies the complex interval problems. A prime example is the lead code 56 merge intervals, where sorting and merging create an elegant and efficient solution. Next is dynamic programming pattern. So basically, this is crucial for optimization problems that involve making decisions based on the previously solved subproblems. Instead of solving the same problem multiple times, you store the results of the subproblems and reuse them. So lead code 198, how Schrober, is a great example where DP efficiently solves the problem of maximizing robbery profits without alerting the police. So finally, let's talk about topological sort pattern. This is particularly useful for problems with dependencies or tasks that need to be performed in specific order. The core idea is to sort nodes in a directed graph based on their dependencies. For example, in lead code 207, course schedule, you need to determine if it is possible to finish all courses given certain prerequisites. By sorting the nodes topologically, you can efficiently resolve the dependencies and find a valid order to complete all tasks. This pattern is crucial for handling complex dependency scenario in various applications. But remember, interviews don't just focus on how well you solve lead code problems. They're also about how you approach real-world development. Understanding frameworks, handling projects, and thinking critically about real-world applications are just as important. So while mastering these patterns is essential, don't forget to focus on development and project building skills too. Because you're not gonna do lead code in your company, right? You have to do some development work and think critically about the task you're assigned to. That's definitely not related to lead code anywhere. Now, if you wanna make best use of your time and effort, check out my Blind75 playlist. The Blind75 collection is the most essential lead code questions carefully selected to cover all these patterns. These are not just random questions. They are the standard set of questions prepares you for the interviews at top companies. Whether it's a fan or startups, interviewers expect you to know these patterns. My playlist will guide you through the each one, helping you focus on what really matters. You'll find it linked in the description. Let's work smarter, not harder. Alright folks, that's a wrap. In our upcoming videos, we'll dive deeper into each pattern, breaking down the logic and walking through the detailed code examples. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button, subscribe to Hack Code, and drop a comment on what pattern you would like to master next. See you in the next video.